Hello guys, this is Varun. Today we are going to create these 3D capsules with Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Dimension. Let's get started. We'll start with a rectangle. And to make it look like a capsule, we'll round off those edges. Now simply change the fill to stroke and let's change the stroke size to something that's more visible for us, about 12 to 13 pixels. And let's cut the strokes with a scissor tool that's C on the keyboard, just like this. And just remove the shapes. We don't need that anymore. Let's just select this new shape and go to Effect, 3D and Materials and go to Revolve. Yes. Let's leave these settings as they are now. Uh, and open Asset Export Panel and just drag your model into there. Rename it whatever you would like to. I will write capsule, change format to OBJ and just hit export. Now comes the fun part. We will open Adobe Dimension and uh, we'll just start with the 3D modeling. And the first thing that we'll have to do here is to quickly go to file and then import 3D model and just you know choose your OBJ model that we just exported there. Size is going to be pretty huge so change that. Press on that lock button to keep the constraint and keep the size at around 10 centimeters for x-axis and put it on the ground just like that. So now just move it around, check your camera angles to just there are some tools which you can use to move around like panning, rotation and everything. All of these tools, these tools will help you set your model into the frame okay into the scene so take some time to do that set your model where you want it to be i think i like it like that like in the middle just like that for the naming of the layers let's rename our models so we know what model is what so I'm going to rename this to my bottom and uh, then we'll duplicate this capsule portion and we'll rename it to the capsule top and uh, then we will quickly change the rotation so that we complete that capsule portion and just align it to the top of the bottom model just like that. I will zoom in a little just to see if it's actually touching the bottom part and uh, i'm going to change the size to 9.5 just because how that's how capsules are top portion is a little bit smaller so i'm going to put it 9.5 yeah looking good i'll just adjust the camera again just to see things are right and uh, now let's move to the material part select the capsule bottom and then go to materials select plastic so you can see all the shine right we'll go to we'll go select the hex code of illustrator logo and uh, we'll just copy and paste it here in the base color i already have it there you go looking nice maybe i'll maybe i'll make it more rough it's it's too shiny so just a little change for my taste yeah i have a adobe logo here that i want to put it on as a decal as a sticker here it is and I'll just quickly drag and drop it here on the bottom. Just reposition it a little bit, hold shift and to scale it. I'll scaling it to keep proportions. Yeah, looking good, right? Nice and easy. I'll just move it up a little, yeah. Let's select the top part and apply glass material, just like that. Let's check on the render preview. Yeah, looking nice. Cool. Let's hide this uh, glass top for now and uh, under assets, let's find and add a sphere. Yeah, it's huge. So let's be able to change the size. Click on that lock constraint and change it to seven just like that and just reposition it up so it will be visible inside the glass, right? Maybe make the size a bit bigger and uh, turn on the glass top portion and yeah looking good so far mm. 
let's rename our sphere as ai and uh, give it a material i'll go ahead with plastic for now and uh, then let's hide this capsule top for a minute i have this ai png just like that we'll just drag and drop over it quickly reposition rotate it scale it yep just like that and now we'll have to change the color to ai logo also we'll just copy paste this hex code we'll just paste it to the base color like this and turn the glass back on turn the layer back on there's our ai capsule just just and to preview it quickly looking good time to create the ps capsule so select all these three layers and while holding alt or option key just click and drag to create another copy this will become our ps capsule okay so let's just quickly reposition it and uh, let's start with the renaming the files a layer sorry and uh, let's hide the ai capsule for now just so we can work on the ps capsule better let's change these colors to photoshop so change this color to deep blue for the bottom and uh, then we are going to change it for the sphere so let's remove this decal we don't need it we'll change it with ps and uh, we'll change this color as well to the light blue reminding of the photoshop logo and uh, then just do the same repeat the same steps again uh like we did for ai hiding the glass and putting the decal tagging dragging and dropping ps png over it rescale it and uh, just make the layer visible again i'm quickly going to select all the layers and group them properly so we have a proper layer management it's always better to group your layers renaming and uh, it's it's going to come handy later on so now i'm just going to adjust my frame just like that find nice position where i like it and uh, checking with the render preview looks good to me let's go to render tab and uh, change a few settings like export name save location export formats psd or png quality high slow medium whatever you like just hit render it's going to take a while i fast forwarded the process and you're done there's much more content like this over my instagram page mostly about adobe illustrator and photoshop and sometimes a bit of 3d too if you like this video drop a comment below i would love to hear your thoughts you can support me with a like and subscribe to my channel as well i'll see you next time